Welcome to Next Trends. Today I am going to talk about battery operated directional light installation. I have chosen the bat button cell type 2032. They come in various sizes. Um, I chose this one because the 2032 is the most widely available. It's quite cheap and has a good battery life. So here 20 stands for 20 millimeters and the 32 it represents the thickness of the cell. There are button cells of 20 millimeter in diameter of lesser thickness but lesser the thickness lesser would be the battery life. Hence I found this 2032 to be optimum for the purpose. I didn't want to change the batteries frequently. That would become a bit problematic. Coming to the pros, it is a safer way of installing directional lights especially if you aren't good at soldering or didn't find a person who can do the pickup technique for you or you don't have pickup, spare pickups lying about. Cons be like shells have to be removed and replaced again to toggle the switches in each of the directions and this you will have to do it each and every single time. Now this is a quite tedious part of this technique and a drawback. Um, so therefore as of uh, for as a temporary fix what I've done is stored the screws in a safe place uh, but on the on the say on the other side it's a lot safer option uh, from the soldering point of view wherein the risk of touching the plastic shells and bodies of the locomotives or the rolling stock with your soldering iron is eliminated. Above all the lights added more realism and most importantly it was fun to watch the trains going with the lights especially in the cases of shoddy Hornby 21st century products. Thank you for watching Nick's trains. Please share with people who might like, appreciate and enjoy trains. Comment and subscribe.